as master of the universe? Ah, uh, Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Carter? Yeah. Exactly. Good choice. Good choice. Peanut man. I know, little Joe is the man. Comes up here and does his thing, gets the stage going, gets the tents up, takes care of business. He seems like he's the man. He plays a mean keyboard. He could take a bath more than once a week. But... <laughs> I would have to say Skeletor because he already got the title. So he'd be like a shoe in. No person, I'll tell you that much. Maybe a fictional character. Howard Stern. Why Howard Stern? Uh, I agree with all his uh, views on life. So you like boobs? Uh, yeah, I don't have a vagina. Really? Shit. I don't know. Bat? He man? Oh, you you can't roll uh, say it with conviction, at least. I don't know, man. You're just throwing this on me right now. Uh, um, David Bowie. <laughs> Without a doubt. <laughs> David Bowie. I don't never listen to a song he wrote. <laughs> Who would you vote for as Master of the Universe? Uh, not to sound like, uh... <laughs> an egotistical jackass, but I guess, you know, individually, uh, individualistically and survivalistically, I would say myself. Yourself? Okay. You know, because you know the only that universe I really understand is my own. That's a, that's my a smart own choice. Mind, you know? Me. 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 Absolutely. Because I'm always right and I never lie. Myself. Scarface. Sally Peterson. <laughs> This is the most common answer we're getting so far. People are fucking selfish. Yeah, egomaniacs. Yeah, that's fucked up. Do you remember when we were at Upton Man and we were like, just yeah. like driving Doing donuts. Doing donuts. Don't give the boogie an open field. <laughs> Dude, like just driving on this open field. I think there's like... We have a lot of it's people. Like the inside of the car was full and then the outside of the car was hanging, like people hanging off. Uh -huh. Perfect. You don't need the two trees, you just need one and it ends. Did you see it? Yep. Oh, oh shit. On. I didn't think about that. <laughs> I <feel. laughs> And that's why you bring a truck to the boogie. <laughs> Boom. That's the only way I got from campsite out of Ball Fest was from Jimmy Shraw. It was like, oh, you're driving? I'll catch a ride from yep. the lake. <laughs> What's going on? Boogie! Boogie! We should make this real dangerous and go a little bit faster. <laughs> <laughs> oh. hey. Hey. hey, I need you later.